tiny amount. The RDA is probably around 20 or so international units a day. You're not going to get much vitamin E in a multivitamin or in food. So you got to get yourself on a vitamin E supplement, especially for your heart, by the way. Very, very important for heart health. Heart health, brain health, skin health, healing, super important vitamin. Okay. Our number is 855-660-4261, 855-660-4261. We do have a couple lines open for you. Love to hear from you on the bright side. Let's go to Virginia and welcome Rose. What's going on, Rose? Hi, Ben. Thank you again for your kindness. I love for you and a prayer support. Thank you. Thank you, Rose. Um, I appreciate that. I was going to ask you, I, I know you mentioned, um, I'm not sure if it was like three weeks ago that you're planning to go to Jersey. Mm. Yes. Yeah. See if you think about you know if 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 you could meet some place with a few of us in the East Coast, you know. You know, I'm going to be in. You're in, you're in Virginia. You. You're in Virginia, right, Rose? Yes. Yes, sir. They're, you know, they're actually doing a uh, uh, some kind of ceremony to honor Dr. Wallach in Washington D.C. I just found out about it yesterday. Oh, uh, praise in, God! In, in September, yes, praise God. He's going to be honored for his. Uh, his decades of wonderful work, and I'm going to be going to that. And sometime in September, I'll be announcing it on the air. Maybe, uh, maybe some folks from Virginia. Maybe I can even do a talk out there in the Washington or Virginia area. We'll have to. You and I will have to so talk about. Northern Virginia is a more peaceful place than Washington D.C. Is it? How far yes. now? I, I've never been out there. What is? What exactly is the relationship between D.C. and Virginia? D.C. is is so part of. D.C. like like Southern uh, Maryland, they're considered suburbs, but they're. We're just like two worlds. D.C. is, you know, apart from political, yeah, there's uh, crime and uh-huh. issues, you know. And I pray for the city itself because Where there's a lot of good people there, but there's a lot of uh, crime situation there. It's not a safe place that I will go in the night. Where in Virginia are you, Rose? I live in Northern Virginia in the Fairfax County. Okay. All right. Gentilly. Well, I got to do. I, I got to bone up on my geography research on the east coast. I live right? close to Dallas Airport. To Dallas Airport? Yeah. Okay. Um, why don't you do this, Rose? Why don't you shoot me an email with your phone number on there so you and I can stay in touch? And I think your son was going to. I think I called your son. I didn't. I haven't heard back from him. Yeah, he's going to call you. Okay. I, good. Yeah. My question is this, and you know how much respect I have, you know. Okay. For the- Wallach and Dr. Glidden. Okay. For you, for me, you're you're so special. You know, and I say this from my heart. And Dr. Parker, he's, for me, if you ever have the opportunity, go to RBM on Sundays. He's 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 an MD too, you know, scientist. Who is it? RBM? Yeah. Uh, Republic Broadcasting Network. Okay. On right. Sundays, I think it starts at 11. You can look at their art. And, okay. And it's Dr. Parker, Wynn okay. Parker. Wynn Parker, Republic he's Broadcasting Network. Yeah, he's a genius. And he okay. brings out information about water and different things that is incredible. You know, for me, he's an inspiration, too. Um and Dr. Rowan, but he's no longer, you know, they don't have him in the show, which I'm fighting for that. Um, he's an MD, too, and a natural doctor. My question is this. I've heard, I, I hate to mention names because I'm a believer. I don't want to sound like a, somebody telling stories. Okay. But I heard one of the head people in, in longevity Mentioning about that it's okay that aluminum, he said that according to Dr. Wallach, and you can verify, uh, that aluminum is, n- is not a, considered like a heart chemical, heart, uh, high Like a toxin out. or something? No, no, you know the aluminum, what you were mentioning before. Aluminum, metal. yeah, I'm not sure what you're asking me. Aluminum is actually has got some some nutritional qualities. Is that what you're, are you talking about? Aluminum is a toxin. Yeah, you know that they you were saying today that aluminum is a hard metal. I, so I want to so, know what is the truth. Well, here's the deal. I, I didn't. I don't think I was talking about aluminum today, but but since you brought it up, no, uh, you let's mentioned talk, it. Aluminum. aluminum? I, no, I was talking about acetylcholine. The doctor at Joyce. 
He mentioned oh, okay. aluminum. Okay. And okay. Dr. Rowling has mentioned aluminum as a let's, hard let, metal. Uh, let's talk about aluminum. I, I didn't talk about it. Maybe Joyce, I didn't hear Joyce's no, show today. No, Joyce's show, I have to clarify. Okay. Okay, no problem. I, I didn't. I, I can't speak to whatever they were saying on Joyce's show because I didn't hear. Her. But let's talk a little bit about aluminum because there's a lot of misunderstanding about aluminum. First of all, show for Joyce today, please. It's real good. Okay, I will. Now, for, now we got to understand here. Aluminum is not necessarily a deadly toxin the way we keep hearing about it. There's a loop. I'm going to talk about colloidal minerals here in a second, but let's just talk about aluminum. Aluminum has got some nutritional value. It's the amount of aluminum that we get that is supposedly related to toxicity. But the fact of the matter is, is that aluminum is uh, not in excess. Aluminum has essential biologic functions, and we've known this for many years. The question is, is the amount of aluminum that we get, and also the question is the form of aluminum that we get. Whether or not aluminum has, uh, there was a couple years ago they were talking about aluminum being related to Alzheimer's disease, aluminum being related to brain toxicity. Whether or not this is the case, I don't want to get into that because I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, is aluminum is a mineral that has a biological value. Now, that having been said, you don't want to take too much. You don't want to have excess amounts of any kind of metals or any kinds of, uh, any kinds of minerals. But we got, got to understand that aluminum is not purely toxic. Aluminum has essential biological value. And I'll tell you a, a few of the things that are important about aluminum. But I also want to get into the idea of colloidal aluminum and colloidal minerals. Plant-derived colloidal minerals have protection. They are protected. They have a, uh, the fact that they're colloidal means that they're surrounded by plant materials, by proteins, and this gives them a certain non-toxicity. That's why you can do huge amounts of something like, say, colloidal iodine, but you can't even do a tiny little bit of elemental iodine. Hang tight. I'll finish this up when we come back from a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. My name is Kay Swirling, and I am in the early part of my 10th decade. I want to discuss the issue of pharmaceuticals versus minerals and vitamin supplements. I remember a discussion between my mother and me. It was at that time that canned vegetables and fruits were introduced into the U.S. market. It was some time before my mother and others felt comfortable with food in cans. That was also the time when drugstores offered for sale cough syrup and aspirins and not much else. Let's fast forward to this decade, the here and now. Simple drugstores are large corporations with the message that they are the ones who have the power to cure human ills. Meanwhile, the battle continues with minerals and vitamins being the answer to human ills. Who will win the battle? I believe and hope it will be the belief in the power of vitamins and minerals over that of the toxic chemicals in prescription drugs. What do you think? So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. 
simulation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We are the premier independent talk radio network. We are G's. Welcome back to the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. We're talking about aluminum. Is Rose still here? Do we have Rose? Rose, are you there? Okay, so let me talk a, a couple, tell you a couple things about aluminum. First of all, whether or not normal amounts of a regular small amounts of aluminum, and aluminum is not really a bioavailable uh, mineral. It's the bioavailability, the ability of the body to absorb aluminum is pretty low, and nobody really knows how much aluminum is toxic, and it's never really been proven that there's a toxicity associated with aluminum. And the fact that aluminum is the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust, which means you're going to get a lot of aluminum in anything that grows out of the Earth and plants, or there's going to be a lot of aluminum anyway in those plants after oxygen and silica. Aluminum is the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust. That, lends me to, that leads me to believe that you, it can't be all that toxic because there's aluminum everywhere. Not to say that you want to ingest pure aluminum, but aluminum in plants and colloidal aluminum probably is not going to be that much of a problem. The biggest problem with aluminum is aluminum in antacids and aluminum in uh, uh, food processing chemicals. That's where you, you might really get into a problem with aluminum. There's actually even some literature that talks about aluminum as a health, as having a health value. I'm reading, a, I'm looking at a paper here that was written in uh, the 1930s. Uh, headline, the promoting effect, that is the health effect of aluminum, chromium, and the rare earths in an enzyme system, a particular enzyme system in the body. So there's some literature that suggests that aluminum is actually a beneficial nutrient. The second thing that's important about aluminum is to recognize that colloidal plant-derived minerals and colloidal plant-derived aluminum is not the same as the kind of aluminum that we get in drugs or the kind of aluminum that you get in antacids or that you get in food processing chemicals. People who eat refined foods, refined flowers, they're going to have higher amounts of aluminum levels in their body. And this is a different form of aluminum than colloidal plant-derived aluminum. And it's true about all minerals. When we talk about plant-derived colloidal minerals, organic minerals, minerals that have, a, a, have been complexed with various proteins and chemicals in a plant, this is a completely different kind of element than just pure elemental minerals. Pure elemental minerals, the kind of minerals that you'll find in food processing chemicals and in drugs, are not the same as colloidal minerals, as plant-derived minerals. It's true about iodine. It's true about silver. It's true about any mineral you can name off the periodic table, and it's true about aluminum as well. So there's aluminum and there's aluminum. Not to mention the fact that I don't know of any real literature that suggests that aluminum is, is a toxin, although... It appears that there, it appeared at one time that there may be some relationship between Alzheimer's disease and tangles that form in the brain and aluminum. So some, about 10 or 15 years ago, there were some folks who believed that uh, there was a relationship between Alzheimer's disease and aluminum accumulation in the brain. Now, aluminum does have, uh, pure aluminum can probably, will probably have some, uh, probably uh, cause some health problems, but if
if you use chelating agents, vitamin C, N-acetylcysteine, MSM, if you get intravenous chelated, chelation with something like EDTA, or even if you use oral, uh, oral uh, uh, EDTA, or any oral chelating agent, you can help clear aluminum out of your body. So if you're really concerned about aluminum, use chelating agents, use MSM, selenium, NAC, EDTA, etc. And by the way, chelation is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do for improving longevity and improving, uh, improving health in general, especially from heart, improving heart health and cardiovascular health.